Today, in this video, I got checked out on our club's Piper Cherokee 180 by the legendary Ed Bryce. I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks. Off, off. Maybe Onyx on. Maybe we can probably put these on now. Hello. We'll go out to the uh, run-up area. Let's okay. Check the, check the brakes here. Brakes are working. That's good. On a hot day, that little air scoop thing really works well. Oh yeah. Because the propeller blast blows air in. That's good. Probably don't need it right now. Probably. And if you if you want to close that, that's fine too. Yeah, good. And as we're turning, we have turning, turning, and turning. And that was your whole taxi Auburn, checklist. Airport good. automated advisory. Wind two one zero at nine knots with dust two one six. How's the taxi speed? Okay. Oh yeah. This is uh, just about perfect. Okay. If you were at an airport like Boeing, they might ask you to taxi faster, or expedite your taxi, okay. is what they would say. But that's usually because they have a big jet following you. All right, get out of the way. Yep. Auburn traffic, uh, Cherokee 5163 Sierra departing 16, departure to the east, Auburn. Okay, go ahead and roll on out and right. do your thing. Okay. I was planning to do uh, reach, uh, cross, turn cross to the east, or do you want me to go in the pattern and depart? No, no, okay. you can turn cross wind to the east. Okay. Okay, here we go. One six is confirmed. Okay. A full throttle. Air speed's alive. Yep. And just be patient. Okay. Right rudder. There we go. Okay. A little bit more right rudder. It's got 180 horse, so it's a bigger engine, so there's more B factor. Gotcha. Let me trim it out here a little bit. You can use the electric if you want. Okay. Auburn traffic that's uh, nose down. Seven three right. Delta Charlie is departing to the south. Auburn. Not my best take off, but it's okay. It's the first one in this plane. Yeah. It didn't scare me, therefore it's an okay takeoff. Okay. And now that we're airborne, kill the fuel fuel pump off. That's your entire climber after takeoff checklist. Gotcha. So did you ever make it into crest? No, not yet. Oh. Okay. We'll go there. Oh, sounds great. Okay, so get it all level, get it trimmed. Do some turns. Okay. This is your get used to the airplane. Sure. Uh, take off and departure stall. Okay. So first step is slow down and put the fuel pump on. Okay. When you get down to around 80 or 90, nose way up and full power and go ahead and stall it. Okay. Okay, so start the nose up and start the power in. Way up. And try to focus on the cloud. If you're not if the cloud's not moving and your wings are level, you're ball centered. Alright, there you go. Okay. And back into a climb, never a dive. Okay, go ahead and slow down. Now, keeping the bank, okay. pull your power to idle and do it before landing stall. Okay. So hold the altitude, keep the bank going. And recover. Don't shove the nose down like that. That's okay. too much. Okay. Okay? All right. And raise the flaps, of course. Raising the flaps by lowering the lever is always an oxymoron to me. Right. Okay? All right. You want to go shoot a landing? Let's do it. Do you know Crest? Um, I've... I've never landed there before, but... Do you know how to use this? Uh, so we can go direct... S-36. S-36. 
Okay. But you see the trees over here lined up are higher. Yeah. So if you stay a little to the left, uh, you go over lower trees. Okay. And all I'm going to get is pictures of raindrops, so I'm not going to take that photo. Okay. So add a little power. Got to get over the trees before you get low. Okay. Should I add final flaps? Uh, sure. The trees on this approach oh, right. were really, really close. Oh, man. Okay, we're close to these trees. That's okay. All right. And hit them. Go ahead and line up. And pull your power. Hold it off. Hold it off. Okay. Go ahead and dump your flaps. And shove the power. A <laughs> little bit of right rudder, especially as you raise the nose. Go ahead and Just a little. Oh. Nicely done. Uh, and we're going to go to the right a little bit. Just a little. Just see, those are the high trees. These are low trees. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's, that's pretty good. <laughs> okay. Well, let's do it again. Okay. <laughs> but you can't stop with just one. Okay. Like potato chips. Sure. Okay. Lance here a second. Put in the final flaps. Add a little power because you're going to sink when you add them. Okay. After you get practiced here, you go to an airfield that actually is obstructed. Yeah. This one doesn't count. Ah, that's a little rough. That's okay. Flaps and power. Deep, calming breath, and we'll lift off. Yeah, I knew you'd come around. Armin traffic 73362, clear. That stallhorn is messing with me. Like, uh, you're turning base. Okay. Auburn traffic, uh, Cherokee 63 series, turning base 16, Auburn. Okay, come around, come around. Don't want to do a uh, base we're, leg we're stall. Fine. We're fine. See what I mean about losing yeah, drops, altitude. Yeah, wow. Auburn traffic, Cherokee 63 Sears on final 16, Auburn. Man, I don't know. Um, well, we'll see. Yeah. Right now we're still on glide slope, but we're no flap. Right. If you need to use power, go ahead. Sure. Yeah, go ahead and add power. And drop a notch of flaps now. Make it two. Okay, touch and go. Go. Oh. And that's from 2,500 feet over the downwind. That's crazy. So idle. And it's a touch and go. Hold it off. Come on, baby. All right, flaps down. And here we go. Get a right rudder. Yeah, my traffic stop for 227 Delta, party 16, stay in the power. The necessity to be really high. In this plane, we're barely going to make it. Yeah, we got it made now. Yeah. There is no smooth touchdown. I mean, you do your best, right. but because of the way the struts are, you pretty much always feel the touchdown. Hold the nose off. Hold the nose off. Okay. Flaps and power. Nose up. Okay. Make sure the fuel pump is on. Auburn, 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 and switch to Delta. Switch right, base for one way one six. Auburn. Okay. Okay. Confirm the fuel pressure is still good. Fuel pressure is still good. Okay. And because we're landing, we'll leave it on. Otherwise, you turn it off. Right. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and climb 100 feet. 
Uh, just a little bit of engine noise should soften your landing some. Okay. About where it is now. It'll make you float a ways, but it should soften your landing. Uh, you pulled it to idle, but that's okay. That was a softer landing. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes if you make a real soft landing, the plane's cr taxing crooked. Hmm. And it'll pop back down, and that's one of the struts getting sticky. Hmm. But that's a, a known thing with Cherokees. Interesting. If you're taxing in, leaning to one side, it'll come down. <laughs> Okay. Good to know. Okay. Clear the markers. Auburn traffic, Cherokee 630 is clear of 16 Auburn. So pump. Pump off. And be, uh, I yeah, those off. lights. Okay. All right. Oh, flaps. Right, flaps down. Crap. <laughs> and then we'll gas it up. Like the left side is open. Okay. okay. As long as you're on the center line, the wings will clear. Yep. Especially these are shorter wings than the other planes. Right. Okay. Looks about there. Okay. Hey, radios and mixture. Okay. Radio off. Thank you, Ed, for the club checkout, and I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Thanks.